What's up guys and welcome back to Legend of Aston Villa where today we're going to be reacting to the 2-0 loss at Molyneux. Unfortunately Brad, it was a disappointing performance, uh, no, no passion, no fight and to be fair, Wolves deserved it. Yeah, definitely. They they were they were superior to be fair, and the points they showed us up. They were they 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 were just a well old machine, and they was playing that continental style football with free flowing and different ranges of attacking passes, and we just reverted back to counter attack and Bruce ball, the over the top that just didn't work. And um, we played we played like it was a derby match, where we was going in with a bit of grit and. You know aggression, and they they just they just silky smooth, and we could we couldn't live with them at all. And everyone across the pitch um, was just terrible. Just everybody, uh, there weren't nobody that I thought. Obviously, Hutton did a few outstanding. <laughs> where he, we had yeah. a few one on ones, where he, he made up and he, and he and he saved saved the day. To be fair, but apart from a couple of those, it, it, it was terrible, and we we was we was it was bleak. It was horrible to watch. And uh, when you just looked across the bench, just as a side note, it just shows how weak we were because when he went 1-0 down, and you looked at the bench and you, there was, I mean, obviously we got Hogan there, but he hasn't really been performing of late. No, yeah. Well, since we've really signed him, he hasn't really been doing much. <laughs> and it just shows that maybe in January it might need a bit of investment just, just for them players to go on the bench because we just looked across and there was literally all, of, there was a kid that we was O'Hare who come on, he was doing quite well for his little few minutes he had. Hogan did pretty much nothing like <laughs> usual. Uh, then we had Thor, who, who sat there. <laughs> Says, I know he scored in the week for Iceland, but yeah, he he didn't come on. But I'm just saying that he was there, and obviously backup keeper and Anima, and but it was just a weak bench as well. So, and then obviously they brought on after when they went, they brought on uh, Bonatini, the the striker, and it just shows how good their bench was when he come on, and we had nobody to really counter that. And yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was just a it was a poor performance across the board for everybody from. You know, all of the eleven really. Well, like we said in the preview, Bruce probably should have changed it from the four four two, and it proved that we were kind of right because the four four two was so flat today. It was unbelievable. We, there was no chances really made. I think we made only about six chances in the entire game, which was um, I think Wolves made six four times as that. So it's it's stupid how far we we were, we were off today, and the international break you can say put a part into it, but. We came back, we were a fully fit team, except from the already injured players. And we just, like like I just said it in earlier, there was no pride, there was no passion. And there was really no fight for it. And uh, in the first half, Wolves had the better of the possession. They were doing much better with it. I mean, I know the defence was doing pretty well, but Johnson didn't have to do a save until the 40th minute. And yeah. then, then, it, then when the second half came, they really kicked into gear, Wolves did. And we didn't wake up and, and we kept on backing off. The two players that we said were going to be their key players actually came and scored against us, so uh, it shows that Bruce didn't watch the video. But uh, there's a potential of an offside from the cross from uh, the first goal, but obviously it wasn't given, and everyone missed the missed the ball, which uh, was the worst thing. Then he tried to put Hogan on for Davis, but I think all of our four going forward, Adoma, Davis, uh, Codger and Snodgrass, they're all getting marked up by at least two or three men, which fair play to yeah. Wolves, they were good organised and uh, we couldn't counter that, so uh, we couldn't get into the game, it, it, we really couldn't get into the game at all. Then as soon as Wolves went 2-0 up, you, you knew it was going to be cruise control from there, unfortunately. Uh, like we said, Hutton had did a good block, but unfortunately ricocheted to the wrong player. Um, we didn't get the look this game, unfortunately, but it's a loss and we, we have to accept it because we did play poorly and, and Wolves did play really well. But it really hasn't hurt us that badly in the table. We're still a point off the playoffs. Yeah. And we just really need to rock on now, get six points out of six for the next two games. Yeah, definitely. Just, uh, just a little thing on the side as well. He's obviously, just to mention how good that Wolves were, because I don't mind giving giving out, because I do I do give a, a opposition a bit of grief. So it's just, just to say to them that they, they were brilliant. You know, can't reiterate how much good they were. And there was one where they did about 20 passes and it was weren't just short pass it was range passes and they nearly scored in in if that went in it would have uh, I don't think I could have gone to work <laughs> it was if that went in but yeah to be fair to them if they didn't try and walk it into the net he, 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 they could he could have gone silly. He could have gone three four. He could have gone like the Man City Stoke. Yeah, <laughs> but obviously without, <laughs> without us scoring. Without scoring, yeah. Yeah, yeah, without us scoring. But yeah, like you say, it's uh, we've got we've got to we've got to carry on now. But like you say, it's not hurt us too much. Um, like I say, if we beat Fulham 
on uh, Saturday, then, you know, we're back, you know, we could easily go up to fourth, um, you know, if obviously results go our way. So, you know, it's not hurt us too badly. Um, just luckily we've had that bit of a good run, but we need to kick on again now. You know, anything can happen in Derby, so we just need to leave it as that. And I've already seen people already call for Bruce to go after tonight's performance. It's way too early, and and also we're in a good position, so I don't see why why I'd want Bruce to go. Admittedly, yes, he did get his tactics wrong today, and maybe his team lineup, but you can't knock him off after one game back from international duty, and especially after the September that we had. It's a long season. We can still get up, even if that's through the playoffs. We can still get there. Yeah, definitely. Just to, just to say what you said that you know to get Bruce gone. I mean, he's had one loss in nine. You know, yeah. <laughs> you know if 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 Pep or Mourinho had that, you wouldn't be saying that. So we just need to get <laughs> off him. But as a little thing on the side that I did watch on Sky Sports, it was just good to see Don Goodman being impartial because he <laughs> might as well have sang along with a Wolves fan. It was ridiculous. Oh, yeah. With the player ratings, for me, we're not going to do it an overall. Um, we're just going to do an, we're just going to do an overall uh, team performance. For me, the whole team gets a four because they were all played terribly. But the standout player uh, for me, the man, my man of the match, and also the fans got out of the match was Alan Hutton. So for me, uh, Alan Hutton playing out of position on the left hand side uh, and keeping us in it a few times with some good blocks. Uh, but if it wasn't Hutton, I don't know really who it could have been. Probably Sam Johnson, but uh, just a very poor performance for everyone involved. Yeah, same here. Four. And he, like I say, I was wondering who was going to fill in uh, if Tyler got injured. Obviously, I said about Armour if he going. And it, look, if if Hutton wants to play like that, he can become left back. That's <laughs> fine with me because he was brilliant for the uh, for the bits that he did, and he even did some like marauding like wing back where he just flew past about four players. Two of them was on the deck. Oh, yeah. This is this is quality. We need to get. Hopefully, he, he can uh, he can stay there. To be fair, he's done quite well. But yeah, everyone was a four. But he he, he would have had it. He would. I would give him a six just for the crack. I thought he was brilliant. So that was our reaction to the two 0 Wolves loss. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And hopefully now we can kick on, put that aside, and we get the six points out of the six for the next two games, Fulham and the Scum down the road. So if you have enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. Please subscribe to the channel with your post notifications on to never miss a video. The link to our Facebook page will be in the description below and also to join our fan score app, that will be in the description below as well. For the original of Aston Villa, up the villa.